arena. And remember, it has always been said, when the health of a woman collapses, the health of the family where she lives collapses as a consequence. Dr. Noveo was kind enough to talk to us. Maternal and child health um, is one of the most under-recognized problems. It's an unfortunate fact. She spoke about um, healing the wounds of war and talking about infrastructure, female genital mutilation. This is the way that it's happening. The girls are put like in a little line and someone without their hands washed the neighborhood watching in dirt. Of course, the basic organs of your life. The women who have escaped this education, education seems to be the way by which we're going to solve this. With the passing of the torch and raising awareness, is is that what's going to change this? Because the laws aren't doing anything. But what can this generation do? Well, you have something that our generation did not. You have social media. I can be in the middle of nowhere in northern Ethiopia, and there everybody has a cell phone. Start to develop social campaigns that can help educate in a culturally sensitive way to help reach the people in these communities to encourage education. It says not to know is bad. Not to want to know is worse. And not to care is unforgivable. It was really nice to hear someone of that caliber and that level speak so candidly the ability to really interact with her. I mean, I got to ask a question that was really nice to, to actually have access to somebody with her knowledge. From beginning to end, we have so many different ways for people to learn. We have the speaker in the morning, and then we have the panel where they can ask questions and hear from a bunch of different perspectives. But I know it's a natural way that I can reduce her chances of postpartum hemorrhage. Does that make sense? Having a way of being able to say, how could I manage it, even in the most rural setting, that this is a natural process and that they can use these tools to help facilitate decreasing the risk for postpartum hemorrhage. Well, I really definitely learned a lot. I've never actually seen a childbirth in real life, so I really think that this prepped me for later rotations. Hands on, everybody enjoyed it. Everybody was like craning their necks to see. Lift the chin up towards the mask. And there's a lot of things in maternal and child health care that could be prevented with easy, cost-effective interventions that people just don't know about or that aren't being used. So what is it that brings you in today? Part of it, no matter what the theme is, um, is really being able to work together um, towards a common goal. We have like dozens of people that have been working on this for months now, um, and it's really exciting to see it all come together.